Hey everyone, this is Mark from the Wave Shop. Today I'm going to show you how to print a MIDI track. This is useful when you want to conserve processing power or send this track to someone who doesn't have the same sampler or plugins that you have. So as you can see, I have a MIDI track with the Mini Grand plugin on it to make it sound like a piano. The first thing I'm going to do is create a stereo audio track because this MIDI track is stereo. So I'm going to do that by hitting Shift Command N and then Command Right to switch it to stereo. Now I'm going to rename this track as Piano Print. And the next thing I need to do is to switch the input and output of these tracks. So the output of this piano track I'm going to set to an unused bus, 21 and 22. The input of the print track I'm going to set to that same bus. So it goes out of the MIDI track into the audio track. Then I need to make sure that the volume of the MIDI track is at unity or zero. So I hit option, click which sets it to default. The next thing I need to do is to make sure there's no clipping in the audio, so I'd play through it and just make sure that I don't get any peaking here. Finally, when it's time to print, I'm going to solo both of these tracks and then hit record on the piano print track. The next thing I'm going to do is select how long I want to record, so from the beginning to the end of the song, capturing the tail of those last notes. Then I'm going to hit record. Now that I've printed this audio track, I can go up to this initial piano MIDI track and hit hide and make inactive. I can unrecord enable and unsolo. And now I have this piano track here that whoever opens the session file will be able to hear the piano with no problems. Thanks for watching, and if you have any other questions, visit us at waveshopaudio.com or find us on Twitter at the waveshop. And don't forget to visit our website to have your music professionally mixed for free. Thanks for watching.